Okay, I am going to be using three different wired ribbons and you are going to need to make sure that they are wired or they will not fluff up. I stack all three on top of each other and I measure out 14 inches so that each loop will be about seven inches. I'm now folding it over and I fold it over a total of eight times. You can do more or less depending on how fluffy you want your bow to be. cutting it off after I have folded it eight times and I am going to fold it so that I can create a crease in the middle. You are going to cut slits on both sides. Now the ribbon is a little thick so I have to do it in um, layers and sections and then I do the same on the opposite side. Once you have your slits, you are going to use a zip tie to cinch it together, pull it as tight as you can, and cut off all the excess. Now we can separate each loop. I do one to the front of each of the different type of ribbons that I am using and then I repeat the same process but putting them towards the bottom. So I'm gonna do the black and white plaid to the bottom, the burlap to the bottom, and now the red and black plaid to the bottom. And I'm going to keep doing that, pulling it towards me, then putting it down to the bottom until I have done it to every loop. Once you have all of your loops separated, it is now time to fluff your bow. And to do that, all you have to do is open up each loop. Since there's wire, it'll hold its shape however you put it, and then just continue to do this until you like the way your bow looks. I will now be adding some tails to my bow with the leftover ribbon that I have. I didn't measure how long I made mine, but you will be folding these in half, so make sure you cut it as long or as short as you would like it. To attach it to our bow, we are going to be using another zip tie. Just place it into the center of your tails and then I attach it. I wanted to attach it to the previous zip tie, but I had tied it too tight already. So all I did was find two loops to go ahead and string it through and then tighten it.
wanted to customize my bow so I still had a scrap piece of my puff vinyl and I cut out Merry Christmas on it. And now I'm going to cut it in half so I could put Merry on one side of my tail and Christmas on the other. To finish it off, I am adding some craft wire through one of the zip ties so that I can just twist tie it to the top of my tree. <laughs> 